there's this there's this teacher I had in GBN who like had us draw in class and made it a homework assignment to have us go places and see things and I mean that doesn't that doesn't happen nearly often enough I think like for for actual credit as an assignment we would actually like go out into the city and visit places like uh, go like go to the Steppenwolf and watch a show or I don't know, a poetry slam event or basically anything out of our comfort zone and again that's just like that was so refreshing to because you know for a lot of high school students it's very much like all your time is basically spent in classes or doing extracurricular sports theater and then you go home and you do homework but then like miss cunningham shakes shakes all that up by like having us like go places we wouldn't ordinarily and it's just it it adds that little bit of variety to just your everyday existence. You know, I did, I did do a lot of drawings and I read a lot when I was a kid, but then there's this point around sixth grade where somehow that just all kind of goes away for various reasons, you know. Um, homework gets a lot heavier, you get a lot busier, and I feel like it's also just that point in your life where you sort of, you, you want to grow up faster than you are, so it's like, so it's like you try to cast aside all the childhood things that, you, that, you know, and you, you want to be an adult, mm -hmm. until you eventually reach a point that I'm sort of reaching now in your adult life where you realize, wait, being a kid is, can, can actually be pretty useful. <laughs> So I'm studying animation in college. I'm, I'm focusing on the pre-production aspect, which is storyboarding and character design, which is something that a lot of people, a lot of, there's a big industry for it for movies and TV, the childlike wonder that I once had and is actually, as it turns out, sort of organizing my career. Like in my upperclassman years at high school, I actually started to go through depression and I, I could have some really tough days. And I noticed, I never, I never really had any direct correspondence with Miss Cunningham over that, just because and it, it, it never really coincided. But there was another, another guy in our class who I noticed he was going through some, some tough times as well. And I, I, and I noticed one day, just like at the end of class, I was getting ready to leave, and I saw him sort of like hanging back and like talking privately with her. And I noticed he was crying. And Miss Cunningham, I just remembered her being so warm and understanding and accessible. And while I was fortunate enough never to have to, you know, ask that of her while I was in her class, just seeing, just seeing her be like that for other students who I, I, I really knew what they were going through, it's, it's so important. Like, I'm sort of reminding myself now how to, like, approach, approach drawing and writing and being creative as, like, a fun thing to do. And Miss Cunningham really helped with that because when she had us like draw in our sketchbooks in class, that was the first time I'd like really made it a point to draw in years. And it, at first, it just felt like more work, you know, because high school. But yeah, like I said, I, it's it sort of like had to reprogram myself and figure out this doesn't have to be work. This can be fun. It is fun. It was fun, and it can be fun again.